I've been trained by the speech pathologist to be able to smell again, and I'd like to demonstrate this. It's very important to breathe normally and to move your tongue downwards. Now I can show you this from the side. This is the method you'll be taught if you want to learn how to smell again. I've been allowed to take this manometer home for two weeks to practice the new technique for smelling. I'll demonstrate this in a minute. The fluid should rise here and start to fluctuate. If the fluid rises on this side, then you've managed the technique well. I put this in one nostril and I close my other nostril with a finger. I'll demonstrate this for you. Now I'll show you from the side. You can also make the movement less noticeable by just moving the tongue downwards. In this case, you're only able to see something on the underside of your chin. Now we will see whether you can learn how to smell with the polite yawning method. It's called this because it resembles yawning, only now you must keep your lips closed. I will demonstrate this for you. You enlarge your oral cavity while keeping your lips closed and you should use your tongue very actively. So from the palate, so if this is the palate, you should move the tongue downward repeatedly. The jaw will move downward as well. Try this. And try something simple, as if you're chewing. Yes, very good. You were not able to smell anything with the odor test, and before we start with the olfactory rehabilitation, I would like to eliminate that there's anything wrong with your olfactory organ. So I've taken this squeeze bottle. This contains an odor, a fluid that has a certain smell. The bottle contains a tube, and when you squeeze the bottle, the odor flows into your nose. The tube ends well above the level of the fluid, so no fluid will enter your nose. You should keep the nose olive tight against your nostril and then squeeze the bottle. In this way, you should be able to smell something. Oh, what a terrible smell. So there's nothing wrong with your sense of smell. 
excellent. To assess whether the olfactory organ functions, we can also use this tube, which by the way is called smell tube or larynx bypass. If you place this on the stoma and put the other end in your mouth, you connect the nose with the lungs and in this way you can breathe through the nose again. If the olfactory organ functions well, you should be able to smell just as you did before the operation. Shall we try this? Yes, all right. Put this on the stoma. Yes, somewhere to the left. Yes, good. And now breathe normally. Yes, great. Keep this in place and we can check if the olfactory organ works. See if you can smell anything. Yeah? Yes? I'll take this away, otherwise you can't speak. It's chocolate. Good, there's nothing wrong with your olfactory organ. Okay. The water in the manometer now moves very well when you apply the polite yawning method. So now we'll check to see whether you're really capable of smelling anything with it. I have a box here with several bottles. They contain odors. Keep this under your nose and try to smell it. Can you smell anything? I can smell something. Good. I can't tell what, though. You can't identify the odour? Uh, yes, well, um... Could you say whether it's a fresh odour? Or maybe something sweet? Or irritating? It's a sweet smell. Good, very good. Yes, it is sweet. I think it's vanilla. Yes, it resembles vanilla. It's banana. Yes, of course. Now I smell it. It's banana. Yes, it's banana. Very good. Try this. Do you smell anything? Yes, but I wouldn't know what. Yes, I know it's difficult. Macaroon cookies or something. That's right. It's similar, but it's almond. Oh yeah, I often mix those up. It's difficult to tell the difference. This is something different. Peppermint. Good, yes. And this is also familiar. Yes, it smells like toffee, but slightly different. It's like toffee, but it is coffee. However, I think it's more like toffee or that special candy. Yes, Hague toffees. Hague toffees, yes, exactly, but it is coffee. It doesn't resemble coffee. I agree, you knew what this was. Now, this one is very difficult to identify. I would not be able to name it. I think it's something sweet. Yes, something sweet. It's vanilla. Ah, vanilla. I don't think it really resembles vanilla, but in any case, it's a sweet smell. Yes, I agree. Good. You're doing fine. Later on, we'll see whether you can learn how to smell again with the polite yawning method. But before we can start, I would like to apply an odour test in order to establish whether your sense of smell has improved or not. I will provide you with a diskette that contains an odour 
And you may choose which of these three odors it is you can smell. Okay? Okay. This is number one. You may choose from coffee, tomato, or banana. Try this. Can you smell anything? Well, I don't smell anything. Nothing at all? No, I don't recognize this. No identification. Okay, I'll put a question mark by number one. Mr. Janssen, these are for you because you took part in the video clips for the CD-ROM. Thank you so much. Don't mention it. Thank you very much for taking part. My pleasure. They smell nice. They do smell nice, yes. Now you know how to use the polite yawning method, but do you use it in daily life? I'm really glad now that I can smell my food again and uh, when I want to buy some perfume for my wife. The new method allows me to smell that again and I can also smell outdoors. I use the method very often and uh, I have the feeling that now I can smell normally again as if it comes to me automatically. Oh, what a foul smell. I'll try the other one. That's better. Congratulations. Thanks so much. They smell very nice. And what a beautiful bouquet this is. Thank you very much indeed. I think this must have been in the fridge at least half a year. Smell this. No, I don't think so. Gosh, no. Bad, isn't it? Yes, it's awful. Give it back. I'll throw it away. How could that have happened? We must have forgotten it. Yes, I suppose so. Mr. Janssen, it's now three months since your operation. Can you tell me how your smelling was before the operation, compared with it right now? Before the operation, I was able to smell everything, like flowers, food, and all the smells floating around in the air. And now, after the operation, I can hardly smell anything anymore. And that's a pity, and that's why I would like to learn how to smell again. That would be great. When I took this manometer back home and wanted to try it, nothing happened because I didn't use my tongue and the fluid remained still. I'd like to demonstrate how that happens. First, the fluid remained still. Later, I made the fluid move, but in the wrong direction. So instead of towards my nose, this tube moved away from my nose and entered this tube. I'll demonstrate this now. But by clicking my tongue, I have learned 
to move the fluid in the right direction.